Plant City is a, it's a smaller town nestled between uh, Tampa and Orlando. We have around 40,000 people plus in the population. Plant City is very special. Plant City is known for the winter world-renowned strawberry festival. People come here from all over the United States to visit Plant City. We maintain all the traffic signal cabinets. We maintain all the school flashers within the city. We maintain all the pedestrian crossings or RRFBs. We also have a large amount of driver feedback signs and everything throughout the city. So some of the things here in Plant City Fire Rescue, we are a fire-based EMS. Part of our commitment and service to the community is, is that we do offer ALS transport service uh, from advanced life support. And so some of the challenges is every day is, you know, one, when we provide that service is getting around town, being able to get to the calls. And with Plant City being located more or less in the central part of Florida, we go along the interstate corridor we all know as I-4, the I-4 corridor, and it is one of the busiest in the United States. We are a smaller municipality. So a lot of times when a new technology comes about, we like to kind of follow the lead of the larger municipality. But with the new EVP preemption from Glance, we really saw it as a way to move forward. At the time, we did not have any emergency vehicle preemption in place. Coordinated with Temple and they were willing to put in a test bed for us. Ever since, we have had nothing but good success with it. It's been a turning point for our traffic system as well. Yeah, with the Glance system, it communicates with the vehicle that has the box in it for the traffic preemption that says, hey, we're approaching the intersection. We are in emergency mode. We're asking for permission for the right of way and for us to be able to proceed through it in a safe and effective manner. I could tell you before we had emergency vehicle preemption, I could watch vehicles through our CCTV cameras. I can watch fire and rescue, try to maneuver around intersections. I seen them having to jump curbs. We would get a call and pull out of the fire station and need to make a right or a left hand turn and we would literally have traffic stop in front of our fire station. Being able to give the EMS worker or the first responder a clear travel path to where they're going speaks for itself. I think it should be a standard amongst the industry. I think every municipality should be required to have emergency vehicle preemption. Plant City houses a large group of schools. So for us, you know, migrating over to the glance box for the school flasher has been just a dramatic change for the better for us. We're able to communicate with the school flasher directly from Central. It's also allowed us to start looking into greater features like the connected vehicle technology that can be applied through Travel Safely app. Plant City is really governed around large neighborhoods, not only subdivisions, but neighborhoods that are nestled all around the school areas. So we have a lot of pedestrian activity that travel to and from school every day. So the safety aspect of having these flashers, having these advanced warnings in place, you know, our leadership at City Hall, they recognized the issue firsthand and they were quick to put funding available to allow for us to install these different devices and overall it has made Plant City much safer for the school children. I like helping people. I like helping the community. I like making a difference in somebody's life and that's what really drove me to the fire service that I proudly serve and that's what I like to do. As someone in the traffic industry for 20 years and someone who puts his heart and soul into the traffic system, it is a uh, outstanding feeling. Having large municipalities potentially following Plant City's lead feels great and I think that there is going to be a, a great amount of use that we haven't even dived into connected with the Glance and our traffic system.